When you replace science with ideology, the door is open to invade people's private lives. This brings us to the controversy over gay marriage. You guys, you bunch of faggots. You guys are fucking dead. You're dead. <laughs> You're fucking dead. Tragically, this promise came true. A lesbian and her gay male roommate were burned to death by a Molotov cocktail. Who fans the flames of this vicious bigotry? Why, Dr. Dobson, do you care about what two consenting adults do, since you talk so much about freedom, with their own privacy? Why does that interest you at all? Well, what I care about is the institution of the family. It is clear that the court is heading toward uh, same-sex marriage. That will destroy the family, which will destroy the nation, and I think eventually uh, have a major impact on Western civilization. What could happen to Western civilization? How about group marriage or marriage between daddies and little girls? How about marriage between a man and his donkey? Wow. Does James Dobson really believe those are fair comparisons to gay marriage? The answer is yes. As founder of Focus on the Family, Dobson is foremost among many right-wing leaders who have an unusual, some would say peculiar, interest in other people's private sexual practices. They're hell-bent on imposing their belief system on all of us. They're willing to punish those who oppose them. The anti-gay industry is comprised of right-wing religious and political organizations who will say anything about gay people to get folks out to vote. Their way. We don't want gay marriage in Kansas. Amen? We're going to, you know, go to communities where we know we're strong in. Basically, I didn't want someone to have special rights over me. And I'm not asking for special rights to be the way I am. Special rights that, that uh, my family or I can't have. In California, Arizona, and Florida, where anti-gay marriage propositions are on the ballot, fear of increasing gay rights may be enough to get people into the voting booth. Have you ever known any homosexuals? No. Never liked them, never will.